Counting clicks with apexutil.countclick. Previously we added video content to one of our pages, but unlike Apex page activity, we can't run metrics over how many times the video was downloaded. By using an API supplied by Apex, we can adapt an elegant solution. Previously, the blob column was used to formulate a download link declaratively using a format mask. So if we go to our blobs page, now it was the report. The blob column has this declarative number format here, so that when we run the page and we hover over that column, we get a link generated for us. First, we'll prepare a link that we can call ourselves. So we're going to create a procedure called MyCountClick, we compile into the database. We also grant access to the Apex public user. And this prepares a URL that sends information through to the Z function. And all that's done is wrapped my call to the download my file procedure. So now we'll go back to the query definition of this page and we'll add call to my cat click. And we don't need to display that URL because we'll associate it with the file name. So we'll go down and provide a column link for the file name. And which can be displayed as just the file name as the text, and the URL will be the column that we just added, and apply those changes. So now when we run this page, the file name is also a link that we can click on, and we can see in the status bar there that it's calling the Z function, and it's essentially counting this click as being clicked. So this means that we can come back to SQL Developer and Select star from Apex Workspace Clicks. And we can see that I've just clicked on that record there. So using this technique, we can count clicks on anything that's linked to external websites, for instance, from within the report. Next, we'll see how we can use an API to manage our environments.